In this video, we're going to look at the problem where we need to find the complex number z that satisfies both the modulus of z plus 7 take away 4i is equal to 7, and that the argument of z plus 7 take away 4i is equal to minus 5 pi over 6. So let's draw a quick diagram so we can visualize what's going on here. So here's our real axis and our imaginary axis. So uh, we've got this circle centered at minus 7, 4. So minus 7, 4, something like that. OK. And it's got a radius of 7. So I know that the circle does something like this. OK. So that's my circle. Uh, the argument of z plus 7 take away 4i is equal to minus 5 pi over 6. So that's a half line centred at the centre of our circle, or starting at the centre of our circle. Um, an angle of minus 5 pi over 6. Now I don't know whether this is going to intersect the circle above the real axis or below it. Um, don't know yet, OK? Uh, but that's what I'm going to have to find out. So um, I'm just going to draw it doing that for the time being. And we'll find out whether it is above or below, right, uh, through the algebra. OK, then. Right, so what I'm going to want to do then is I'd like to then find the Cartesian equation for both of these, substitute the line into the circle, and then work out the required point. OK, so the circle has the equation x plus 7 squared uh, plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 49. OK, now the equation of the line. Now, um, if that's 5, that's 5 pi over 6. So uh, we want the tan of pi over 6, which is root 3 over 3. OK, so um, we're going to have y equals, or sorry, y take away uh, 4 is equal to root 3 over 3, x take away uh, x plus 7. OK. So, this is our equation that we want to substitute that one. Now, because I've got it in y minus 4, there's no point in putting this y equals mx plus c form. I could just replace the y minus 4 in there with this. So, we're going to have x plus 7 squared. And remember, I'm squaring this. So, I'm going to get 3 over 9, which is 1 third, right? So, plus 1 third of x plus 7 squared equals 49. OK, now x plus 7 squared plus a third of x plus 7 squared is 4 thirds of x plus 7 squared equals 49, rather than me having to expand everything out. Now divide both sides by 4 thirds, so 49 divided by 4 thirds is 147 over 4, so x plus 7 squared is 147 over 4. So square root that, we're going to get x plus 7 is equal to plus or minus 7 halves root 3. So x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus 7 halves root 3. Now, we've got two solutions, right? Because we've taken the line to be getting those two solutions, one up here, one up there. So I don't want that one. So I don't want the minus 7 plus 7 halves root 3. I just want minus 7 take away 7 halves root 3. So x equals minus 7 take away 7 halves root 3 is the only one that I want. Now I need to find uh, the y value for that. OK. So I need to substitute it into this one. So y minus 4 is equal to root 3 over 3 minus 7 take away 7 halves root 3 plus 7. 
Right, okay, so we've got root 3 over 3 times by minus 7, take away 7 halves root 3 plus 7. So that's minus 7 halves. So y minus 4 is equal to minus 7 halves. So add 4 to that, and you just get half. So actually it does intersect it above. So we've got um, this coordinate here has the coordinates minus 7, take away 7 halves root 3, 1 half. OK, so z is equal to minus 7, take away 7 halves root 3, plus 1 half i. And that is the complex number that satisfies both of those two equations.